Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 31 of Six Figure Live. My name is Ben Hartley, uh, coming to you live from Stone Story Creative and Six Figure Photography. We are here in Columbus, Ohio, and the request uh, was made to take you guys on a tour of the Stone Story Creative office, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, before we do that, let me give you guys a quick explanation if this is the first time that you're watching this. The entire purpose of Six Figure Live is to give you guys a very candid glimpse into, into the studio life, what we do here on a day-to-day -day basis at Style and Story Creative, um, just kind of the ins and outs. And so along the way, hoping that, that, uh, that we're able to give you guys some value through the process. So we're going to hop over to the intro video. I'm going to take you guys on a tour, show you a little bit about uh, where we meet with our clients, where we work, where we play. <laughs> these guys um all that kind of good stuff so uh intro video time what's up everybody who's there who's listening right now i got three of you guys watching say what's up when you get a second go six figure live episode 31 Monday, Mike, indeed, my man. Thanks for joining, as always. How's it going, everybody? Eight of you guys out there watching live right now, which is fantastic. You guys, it's Monday. Hopefully, you guys had an amazing wedding that you shot uh, over the weekend. Abby joined. Abby's our intern, and she just joined Abby. Um, see, uh, hey, Ben, uh, stop playing ping pong for a minute. Pull up that shot that you did. I want to show everybody that. Uh, so Ben Adams had a wedding this Saturday and came back with just some amazing, amazing stuff. I want to show you guys that. So as he's pulling that up, there was a request given. Um, Raymond says, there's so much fun. Uh, and uh, there was a request given to take you guys on a tour of the Stylin' Story Creative Office just to kind of show you guys around our workspace here. You kind of get to see pretty much just this angle. And so I'm going to tour you guys around here for a little bit. And so uh, let's just do it. Let's jump right in. So here we go. We have, uh, we have our main kind of work areas here. So that's Jared Jacob's hand up, Jared. Hello, what up? Uh, Jared in the back, uh, he owns his own marketing company called Transistor. Abby Lewis, coming up second. Intern, what up, girl? Uh, ben Adams is right there. I like to keep Ben right across from me so I can stare into his baby blues. Um, so then Stephen Lowe is right behind me. Uh, with the we, we all have stand-up desk stations here because when, as you guys know, when you're sitting there and you're editing work day in, day out, over and over, I mean, uh, let's talk about that for a minute. Because apart from your camera, you guys, you should be investing in having just a kick-ass machine. Your machine should be where, where in terms of um, a money investment goes, like, that's, that's the thing that you need most as a photographer. Let's just be real. You spend so much time on this. And so speed, efficiency, efficiency uh, is really important. Um, and then along with that, just, just keeping ourselves active, keeping ourselves engaged, keeping our creative juices flowing, keeping us moving around. The stand-up desk uh, is fantastic. We use a Veridesk. Um, I used to really believe in Veridesk, and then I saw it on an in-flight magazine while traveling to Mystic Conference, and I realized that I had just bought something that existed uh, on one of the plane uh, magazines, and I thought less of it for a moment. Okay, cool. <laughs> Right over here, we have one more space. This is, um, we have a video editor that comes in and works with us uh, throughout the year. Certain years, he's in more than not, and so that's kind of his space. Right now, it's being used as a ton of data. We just have like kind of drives out the wazoo right now that we're cataloging, and that uh, we're, we are running all those drives through JPEG Mini right now. What up, JPEG Mini? Um, and we're saving a ton, a ton of space uh, doing that. So this right here is kind of like our core area where we work. Raymond says, plus one for Veridesk. Love mine. Good man. It, it really, they've been fantastic. We, we absolutely love them. Uh, they're like 500 bucks. It's, a, it's deep. But the reality is it's 500 bucks. It's for your health. It's for your efficiency. Um, and, it, man, it makes, it makes me, like, I... I I need energy brought out of me, like, and it makes me stand up and, like, when I do podcast interviews, actually, let me show you that. Uh, so we have the Six Figure Photography Podcast, and this is, like, like right here. So I do them right here. Uh, I've got uh, a nice little soundboard mixer, and then I'm able to do all my podcasts standing right here for you guys. And uh, it just keeps my 
and uh, it keeps my engagement up. Yes, so Mike, great question. Is the Veridesk worth the money? Um, I 100% think it's worth the money. Uh, I mean, again, it's 500 bucks, but the, like, this is where all of my time is spent. It's where all my time is spent. Actually, Ben, can we show them how it works real yeah. quick? Give me one second. The really cool thing about this Veridesk is he's standing right now. Go about halfway. So let's say that you weren't that tall. You could just click it, lock it in right there. <laughs> all right, go, go all the way down. There's cool, yeah. There's a whole bunch of levels. And so now he's got everything set up so he can just sit. Um, so it's not like we're standing every moment throughout the day. We, usually when we come in, we're really lethargic before we get our coffee, and so we sit. And then we, we know shit's getting real when we all start standing. <laughs> um, I'm like, oh, boy, Ben's standing. <laughs> So this is really the work area here. Now I'm going to show you guys a couple other spaces that we have. Um, we have kind of like a little meeting area. This is the office. This door stays locked when we leave. Uh, in here is going to be some of our backup solution stuff right there. I've showed you guys that. There's also just some storage in here. And then as well, a lot of our company stuff in regards to like our brainstorming, kind of our beliefs, what we believe in, um, what we need to get better at. Um, what we live in here, we, we want to be storytellers, leaders, the best, printmakers, people lovers, experienced, fearless, legacy, more than photographers. These are all things that we believe in. This is a whole brainstorming board of our, of our mission statement here, um, of other things that we live in. Uh, we believe you should enjoy life, that um, photographs are deserved to be printed for generations. Success starts with self-worth. You can always improve, and people are always more important. And so um, these are some things that we've gone through as a company. Uh, that we just really want to be reminded of. Um, just got a stupid printer in there. Uh, anyhow, so this is just kind of a, a little bit of a storage room. Hey, my wife says I'm hot, so that's awesome. Uh, now, in this other closet here, so to give you guys kind of a pullback, uh, we've got workstation, office there. Now we've got the gear locker. I apologize, but the gear locker is a mess, you guys. So we've got one locker here, we've got a shelf and a shelf. We just came back from a wedding. And so when you come back from a wedding, this is what stuff looks like. <laughs> you like walk in the studio and just everything goes to the floor. So we have a ton of gear that we keep all locked away here. Um, charging station that's like, gee whiz, just like gear everywhere. Um, but anyhow, so that's where that is. Um, I need to fix this drone, by the way. I totally crashed this drone in, in Antigua, Guatemala. Um, if anybody knows how to fix a drone, let me know. Okay, so... Um, that's kind of the main area there. Uh, one of the most important things is as much as the standing workstations are important to us, again, we're talking, when we're talking about the office space here and the standing desks and the ping pong table, this is just culture. It's the work environment. We just got back from, from going to get ice cream because it's, um, uh, Abby's last week here, so we're going to do ice cream every day for her. Um, but this is just, this is just a part of the, like, the culture. It's down very creative. Yes, we might be getting less done by playing ping pong, but I like to think that we're getting more done when we're playing ping pong, and the morale is up. And so actually, Ben, come here. Yes, what's up? Uh, talk about this week, what we're doing with ping pong. Yeah, we're doing tournament week. And so we like draw names, and we just create a bracket. And it's cool, we use this app so we can track who wins most of the time. And it's usually not me, it's usually the guy right here behind you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it's fun. Uh, it's just a good time hanging out um, and just getting better. Nice. So we, we find ourselves getting way too competitive with tournament week with ping pong. And so we are just in general. So we had to designate specific weeks that were just for practicing so we could just like bring it down a notch. But this week's a tournament week. All right. So let me take you over to another station here. This is going to be our video station. This is where we do a lot of our, um, our video tutorials. Anytime we're creating educational content for you guys as photographers, uh, it's happening. So this is kind of like a little video station. We've got a couple A7Ss right here set up. Um, we've got a nice warm uh, kind of rim light here uh, for hair. We've got a fill ring and then just another accent that's on the wall back here. Um, so this is kind of where we're going to be doing our video interviews for everybody. Um, as well, we have clients who come in our couples hire us to do, let's say, wedding videography. We always have them come in prior to the wedding and uh, we do little interviews with them, and so this will take place in this section. We've got a client coming in at 2 o'clock, right, Ben? Yeah. 2 o'clock, a client's going to be here, and we're going to be doing some uh, video interviews uh, later then. Okay, now I'm going to turn around. This is going to be the next area here where we meet with our couples at. This is, um, this is what we're doing, and it's not necessarily the, the – 
the absolute best fit that we have. Um, but we have a, a client meeting area here. It could be better if it was a, a little bit tighter and a little bit smaller. I'm so this right here is our client meeting area. This is where we have an opportunity to start going through albums together. So in this space here, it's going to be um, lit. Normally we turn off all the lights and we only have it lit kind of with our mood lighting here. Um, within this space, we make sure um, that our albums are prominently out on display. We make sure that all of our awards uh, can be seen kind of throughout the space as well. Um, not necessarily to, to be bragging about, but to essentially to be conversation starters for people to ask questions about our awards and for us to use it as an opportunity to explain uh, the authority that we have in the industry. Um, on, on the walls are going to be um, prints. All of these prints are here for a reason. They're all specifically chosen. There's a large variety. You're going to notice that not everyone, like check out this, not every print is like this amazing end of the night badass fully lit shot, right? That like every photographer thinks is the greatest thing in the world because sometimes this is the greatest thing in the world, you guys. And so um, it all depends on, on what your couples value and understanding their story, understanding what they care about. And so um, we make sure that we have work up here on the walls so we, they can they can point to it. We can go on a little field trip. And, and when they say like, yeah, I, I want a shot like this, like I love this, we can get up and come over here and I can pull it off the wall and we can talk about the print. We can talk about the story behind this image. Um, and that, that has so much power. To be able to do that. Um, so uh, anyhow, so there you go. This is kind of our, our, our area here. Um, there's a few changes that we'll be making down the road, but uh, it gets the job done. So um, we'll turn back around towards me here. Um, you guys, that's kind of like a brief look at our space. There's a, there's, you know, there's, <laughs> I can take you in the bathroom if you want, but that's kind of weird. Um, but that's, re that's really it. I want to tell you guys about something uh, real quick before we go. What I want to do, first off, I want to thank you guys. Uh, Q&A Friday, this last Friday, was incredible. You guys, there was so much engagement. There's so many amazing questions. And so if you are unaware, every single Friday, we do Q&A Friday. And it's an opportunity for you guys to ask us any question. It can be questions about creative. It can be questions about business. It can be questions about life. It can be, I mean, whatever really you guys want. Last week was incredible. We had like... Uh, well, we had, we had a ton, we had like 50 questions come in. And so um, thank you guys for that. What we're going to be doing is um, we're going to kind of have a couple other categories that we're going to put into the weeks because I want to keep giving guys much more specific expected value along the way. And so Mondays, um, we're going to just come to you live and, and kind of uh, share what's on our heart, what's on our mind, what we're doing as a business. Um, Tuesdays, you guys. Tuesdays tomorrow, we're going to do live editing with you. If you want to see more about how we edit our style, our approach, we're going to be pulling up an image and I'm going to do a live editing session on a file for you guys live every Tuesday. And so tune in tomorrow around one o'clock EST and um, we're going to do a live editing session. And I'm just going to talk you through my thoughts, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, also how the photograph was taken, what we were thinking about, um, why we took the picture the way we did. Um, then on Wednesdays, this is really exciting, you guys. Wednesdays, we're going to be doing an image critique. Anyone can submit an image, and we're going to be able to choose one, and we're going to do some image critique on Wednesdays. And so I'm going to drop a, a link in the, uh, in the comments section to this, and I want to hear from you guys. Please send in, send in some work, send in some files, and we're going to do a live image critique. And uh, I promise the entire purpose of the critique is to just give you guys value. We will not be tearing stuff down without explaining why exactly we're feeling the ways that we're thinking. And, and my hope is that it will improve your work um, uh, tenfold. And so every single Wednesday is going to be an image critique, and I, I, I cannot wait for that. Um, we're going to come back to you guys Thursday and just uh, shoot the shit a little bit, explain more stuff that's been going on throughout the week at the studio, uh, what we're doing. And then once again, Friday is Q&A Friday. And now lastly, you guys, lastly, this is so freaking exciting, and please pay attention to this. Um, last year, I did some online training for you guys, and it was how we booked our first $7,000 wedding, okay? And it got, so, I mean, we had so many signups. We had so many people. We actually had people who got turned away because we couldn't fit them into the online class. And it's the number one requested uh, course that I get asked about is, how, like, when are you going to do this again? When are you going to do this again? And so this week, uh, I'm going to be doing it again. How we booked our first $7,000 wedding and how you can do that without, like, spending years of all the trial and error along the way. And so this Thursday... 1 o'clock EST, I'm going to be um, holding uh, this online class. It's going to be limited to 100 people, and I already have, what, like 52 signed up? We're going to have like 52 signed up. So 
Um, I'm going to drop a link where you can sign up for that and, uh, and get your seat locked in. And um, it's, I mean, it's going to be sick. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, if you haven't booked a $7,000 client yet, then there's probably value to be gained from it. And if you have, still have, my hope is that there's still going to be value to be gained from it. So check it out. I'll put a link to the sign up for you guys right there. Um, and uh, I'm super, super excited to be able to do that for you guys. Um, lastly, let's go take a look at Ben Adams' picture because it's, dude, you guys, this is the thing that is amazing about working with a team of other people, right? This is why Style and Story Creative first began, right? Because I wanted to be around other amazing creatives, inspired by other amazing creatives, uh, encouraged and pushed. Um, and, and when these guys come back from weddings and I see the stuff that they're producing, like part of me like is like kind of dies a little bit because I feel like I, I, you start to compare yourself, right? You're like, oh man, is my stuff that good? But dude... That, like Ben's stuff this week was just insane. Uh, so check the shot. First dance shot that he did. I'm going to start here and then I'm going to pull back. So here's our couple here. He did this like way from up in the balcony. He used Magmod uh, and a, a, with a Magmod grid. Um, put a single light right down there on them with a the stand. Used the Canon 600s to be able to fire it. Uh, wirelessly and captured the entire atmosphere space in the room. I love the flower girls down here all watching. Like this is stuff that you, when you see this, I'm like, holy shit. Um, it's so good. Uh, hey, wait, actually, this is, this is the photographer. Turn to him. This guy, Ben but, Adams. But for all, with this shot, I encourage you guys, especially like as photographers, it's so easy to just like pay attention to just the bride and groom. And I love the shot because actually, again, I stepped back and you have the, you have the flower girls here. You have the father of the groom right here with his phone. You, have, you see the people standing in the balcony, the chandeliers. There's so much more going on. And I feel like sometimes as photographers, we get so isolated on just the bride and groom when we're actually missing the whole story. And I feel like this tells the whole story. So I encourage you to do that. Step yeah, out man. of your box. Because it was scary doing this, too. Because, like, oh, I should just go get, like, the standard shot. But, like, I'm so glad I risked, uh, you know, and, and stepped back and got the whole thing. High five. Boom. Boom. All right, you guys. Um, thanks for watching episode 31. We're going to be back at you tomorrow. We're going to do a live editing uh, session. We're going to edit some images together. Um, and, uh, and I can't wait. So I'm going to drop the link to the uh, – the, um, there was two things I was going to drop a link to. One is to the online form to submit images for critique. And then the second thing is to sign up for the online course, how to book uh, your first $7,000 wedding. So no true for a first dance. I'm not sure what you mean by that, my man. No true for, I don't know what the no is for. You guys, thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye.